Morning, everyone. This is the News Burst. It is a Friday morning. Hope everyone had a happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. How was yours? Good? Great. Yeah, How okay, you? fine, fine. I'm thankful Thanksgiving is over. 46 <laughs> degrees in Milwaukee, 43 degrees as you wake up in Waukesha this morning. The rest of the Storm Team forecast from Scott Steele today. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy, windy and warm, high near 56 degrees. All right, Black Friday. I always liked when the weather was kind of crummy to punish all those people who were in line. Why do you want to punish them? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Uh, Black Friday creeped into Thursday this year with at least Walmart and Toys R Us having late night hours last night. The Toys R Us was packed on the south side as I was waking my way in today. Well, I know, a line way out right. the door. Target opened at midnight. Mayfair Mall had listed 5 a.m. as its opening time. They apparently opened at midnight as well and, and were mobbed crowd. initially. Yeah. Right. Uh, 3 a.m. for Southridge this morning. So Black Friday is in full swing. A lot of deals going. A lot of people were out there taking advantage of those early deals. Uh, Walker Recall folks were actually out yesterday at a Racine meal program. Some folks raised eyebrows over that. The volunteers said uh, it didn't matter that it was a holiday. That they needed to be out there doing what they believed in. Effort is to get 540,000 valid signatures to force a recall election for Governor Scott Walker. Those folks will be out in force today. They have said they'll be out near malls and retailers to try and take advantage of all the crowds being out on Black Friday. Several area malls had said they would not be welcome inside, but they can be on public spaces outside of those malls and stores. Big sports, I mean, that's about it for the news, right? We're shopping yeah, and the means, recall right. continues, and then now let's just talk about the sports. In the night game, 49ers get their second loss of the year. They lost to the Ravens, so that helps the Packers. So you're just waiting for us to, on the Packers story? What? Packers 49ers. stay, per, well, because that plays into the <laughs> oh, okay, larger thing, okay, because now the Packers are two up on the Niners for the quest for home field through the playoffs. Packers stay perfect with a 27-15 win over the Lions. The big storyline out of that, not only being 11-0 for the first time in Packers history, but in Dominican Sue proves he is, in fact, a dirty player. Well, that was a terrible Dude, just say you did it, too. Like, oh, I was trying to get off him, and it, what did he say? The man upstairs knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you're going to... Okay, I can't okay, go there, right? But I mean, okay, but really? Are we going I was just trying to get up off him? No, we still got one loss in there, and that's going to be fine, because we get home field through the playoffs anyway. Packers okay, sorry, we were interrupted by the newscast again, but to finish that thought, anyway, and Dominican Sue, he's going to get suspended and whatever. It just made me dislike the Lions even more, because a little bit of you wants to root for the underdog. Not like I'd ever root from over the Packers, but yeah. it's a nice, feel-good story. Not anymore. You guys are garbage, and you lost. <laughs> Uh, Badgers' entire season is riding on the outcome of the 2.30 kickoff game tomorrow. Badgers host Penn State at Camp Randall on Senior Day. Looking for a berth, right, and they have all their... Looking for a berth in the first ever Big Ten Championship. Have a great weekend.